Hi, in this quick video I'm going to show you how to change your Panasonic NT handset's IP type from DACP to static. Don't forget if this video brings you any value, just smash that like button. So first off, before you start, make sure you have a valid IP address from your IT department. Because if you enter an invalid IP address, it'll either not work, or it may even conflict with another device on the network causing them both not to work. Once we receive an IP address we can statically assign to the handset, we can get started. So first thing, power down your handset. So once you plug your handset back in and the handset starts booting up, just keep an eye out on the screen. The word setup will appear on the screen on the left hand soft key. Make sure you press it before it disappears. Unfortunately, you have to be very patient. These handsets are very slow to boot up. So while you're waiting, good time to smash that like button. Really helps me out. Alright, setup has popped up, so press setup and then enter on network and then up the top you'll see DHCP, hit right to disable it and then hit enter on IP address and our IP address will be 10.2 so you hit right to go right and then 2 right again, 2, right and then 50 and then enter then you press down to go to subnet mask 255, 255, 255, and then 0, enter, down, default gateway will be 10, 2, 2, 1. Just make sure you hit right um, after those single digits. Then after that, you hit enter, and then exit, and then store. And now your handset will beep to give you confirmation that it has saved everything, and it'll reboot. And of course, because it's got its own IP address, it doesn't have to wait for the server, so it'll reboot pretty quickly. So there you go. Now you've got your handset on a static IP. I'll just turn it off again and reboot it so we can put it back to DHCP. Hopefully my instructions weren't too quick. I didn't want to do it too slow either, but comment below if I was too quick, just so I know for future videos. So again, remember the handset takes a long time to boot up, so just keep an eye out for the setup button on the left hand soft key. If you do miss it, just unplug the handset and start again. Okay, so now hit setup and then enter on network and then up the top select enable. If you hit enter on IP address while it's enabled, you can't see anything. You can only see the IP address when you highlight disable at the top, then you can see it. So highlight enabled on DHCP, hit exit and store. That'll give you a confirmation tone and the handset will reboot. While it's taking its time to boot up, if this video was of any value, don't forget to smash that like button guys, really helps me out. Eventually this will say DHCP waiting, meaning it's waiting for an address from the server. If it fails, just hit the exit button that shows up on a soft key up the top. It just means that the handset or the server took too long to respond, so usually a refresh will fix it all up. If it continues to fail, just maybe watch the video again, maybe you missed something. Or talk to your IT, maybe you don't have a DHCP server running, maybe everything needs to be on static. There you go, so the handset's back up and running on DHCP. Thank you for watching guys, hopefully you can check out my other videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thank you.